Hey everyone, this is Juicy here. Today I want to talk to you guys about my experience being a node operator with Rocket Pool. If you guys don't know what Rocket Pool is, Rocket Pool is a decentralized Ethereum staking protocol. So two ways to do it or two ways to stake. One is um, you know, stake any amount of ETH that you have and you get rewarded back um some it our ETH um for you staking. Now, if you're a node operator, you get two rewards. You get some rewards from the BK chain of Ethereum, and then you also get rewarded for being a node operator for Rocket Pool. So you get um, RPL tokens. Now, I decided to go this route because I'm a big fan of decentralization, and I wanted to help with um, you know people staking, and I thought this would be um, very rewarding and also a good way, a fun project for me. Um, and you know, I get rewarded for two tokens instead of one, so why not? Um, I do recommend you take some time um, with their staking guides as well as documents. If you do decide to be an operating node, I cannot stress enough, you know, that if you're going to be doing 16 ETH or even 32 ETH to be a node operator, like 32 ETH right now is like maybe worth like 100K, like 100K is a lot of money. Like definitely take some time, read the documents thoroughly. Um, take hours to do this. Um, use the beta or the, or the test nets. Don't immediately jump into the main net. Um, so those are like my two cents, my advice, you know, this is their documents. Um, they tell you how to prepare for, um, staking, you know, setting up your node, whether that's a PC, mini PC or nuke, or I guess like a raspberry Pi. I don't know. Um, I don't know about, I guess, physical stuff because I decided to go the VPS route or the cloud route. The reason why is because I live in a very old apartment. I live in an area where the internet is not very stable and therefore I thought, Hosting or being the node operator and it being hosted in a virtual private server or a cloud such as AWS would be the best route for me. Now, one thing I also want to preference is when I first started, I actually decided to go with AWS um, during the beta of Rocket Pool and um, AWS is expensive. Um, I was paying $100 a month and I'm pretty confident if Rocket Pool was live and all the processing power that was going to happen. I'll probably be paying like $200 a month. Um, it is not reasonable. It's not feasible. You know, if you have that money and you're willing to pay that money, like go right ahead. But it, logically, like there's better things out there. So, you know, I did my research and during the um, the Discord, the Rocket Bull Discord, one thing I found that a lot of people were using was a thing called uh, NetCup. NetCup is basically... I guess an alternative to AWS, it's a uh, virtual server or VPS, and a lot of people were buying the uh, 6,000 or 8,000. Now, I personally want the 6,000 um, just because it's a little bit cheaper. If you have the capital for, to pay $10 a little bit more for, um, for like, you know, 40 bucks a month, go right ahead. Um, but, you know, the biggest difference is the uh, memory size. This is two terabytes. This is 1.2. If you guys don't know, with when it comes to staking Ethereum, the Ethereum one beacon chain or the blockchain is ridiculously large. Um, it is huge, so um, this is something you do have to monitor. Um, I was comfortable getting the six thousand and me pruning the Ethereum, and which is a script that you can run uh, on your node, and which I have done too. So I can talk more about that later if you guys need help or assistance on that. Uh, I can set up some guidance. So biggest thing with this, another thing I I. You know, I guess I'm putting my information security or cybersecurity hat on. Is if you guys are going to be um, becoming a node validator, then I definitely recommend you look up. And I'll put this in the description. This is one link. Another one they have is this one where it gives you guides on how to um, secure your node. Um, so I'll put those in the description. But I mean, let's go over them, right? Like, create a non-root user with pseudo privileges. This is the user that you should be using. You should get rid of the root user and make sure that root user doesn't exist. You know, disabling SSH password authentication and use SSH keys only. You know, if someone happens to find um, the IP address of your node as well as know the password, they can log in, they can do all, all, all sorts of things. So you want to disable that. You want to only use, you know, an SSH key like a PPK file in order to access, you know, update your system. This is something you obviously need to do. Disable the root account, always saving you something to do. Um, this one I didn't do, I did a little bit overkill. It's really up to you if you want to do it. It's another layer of security, you know, um, and things like that. So configure your firewall, I highly recommend, you know, you don't want to use, you don't want to have open ports um, that people can try to, you know, search and use and, you know, bypass certain things because certain ports are weak or, you know, um, provide a lot of information. 
Install fail to ban definitely takes some time to understand what it is. It's pretty much an intrusion prevention system. Um, you know, you get to whitelist certain things. So, you know, you can whitelist your IP address um, if it's static, as in it's persistent. Um, but if you're, you know, logging in and it's very dynamic, you, you may want to do some research on this matters. But, you know, I'll put the links on the descriptions on these two things. Um, but I do recommend that you secure your node. Now, secure your node first, right? And then install Rocket Pool because one of the things that happened to me was I I set up and secured my node first, and I messed up a few times, and I locked myself out, or um, I couldn't access the um, I guess like my server. So I do recommend make sure you secure your node first, and once you have it up where you can only use the SSH key, you know you you disable the root in the admin passwords, things like that, that's when you install um, the Rocket Pool node. Now, I guess we can go into the fun stuff or the cool things or the most important thing, right? So this is, this is you know, Grafana. Grafana is a cool UI. It gives you the health checks as well as um, on the right here, it's just all the validator stats and this is the hardware stats. So the things that you need to be monitoring here is probably if the root if there needs to be a reboot if there needs to be an update to the os and there needs to be an update to rocket pool um now if there needs to be an update you know this is something where you go into the guides and you go into running and you make sure you do maintenance right so monitoring your nose performance setting up the grafana passwords and checking for updates, right? So this is something that you need to look at almost every single day or monitor the Rocket Pool um, Discord because there's a channel there for um, you, the node operators and they'll give you alerts to the, you, hey, you need to update your, your Rocket Pool node because a new version has come out. So please update it as soon as possible. So yeah, so on the right, right, you can see my validator stats. So I set it up maybe November 28th um, so it's been more than 30 days and this is my current stats right so I have 96 ethereum locked so I have um, let's see one two three um, three nodes or yeah six mini pools pretty much up and running and I've earned so far um, 0.4284 um, ETH as well as I've been rewarded 40.53 ripple pool now I guess within a month, I've been rewarded, you know, $3,568.97, which is good and very decent. And I'm very happy with that. Um, and I do know that the, um, the rewards for, I guess the RPL token will get substantially lower little by little, just because the amount of validator nodes coming up and not being operational and things like that so it's not a big deal um i'm just happy i'm being rewarded you know I, i'm not complaining um you know i do have to look at this every single day um you know before before i start work i look at it um midday i look at it just to make sure that things are running and operating it doesn't take too much time uh especially if you have a you know an ubuntu background or you've you've used linux before um so it's, it's not that much work and that much effort uh, another thing you should also monitor is the os disk space and the disk space use you know like i mentioned before the if one blockchain size is large and i actually pruned it um this used to be around like 70 percent and now it's back to 51 because i pruned it um so you know, if you guys need help on these type of things, more than happy to help. But I just wanted to give you guys, you know, my experience with being a Rocket Pool node operator for a month. So, you know, um, feel free to follow me, like and subscribe. Um, I do play video games on Twitch um, and I'll put that in the description as well. You know, feel free to go over there. If you have any questions when I'm live, i um, more than happy to help with anything too. So yeah, so, you know, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a good one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.